my name's Alicia Power and I'm a spiritual intuitive and what I really enjoy doing as with many of these videos on YouTube is allowing my spirit tutors to share something that they really would like to share with my YouTube audience. So today they would really love to talk about the topic of being spirit in a human body. Now this is a topic that is not familiar maybe with some of you that are watching this video but for me as a spiritual mentor and a spiritual intuitive over the last three decades this is something that I've been talking about to my students and to my audiences for a very very long time and one of the ways that my spirit tutors who I allow their knowledge and their intelligence and their communication just to feed into my consciousness and I just pass it on what they love to talk about in this context is that one of the sole purposes of every human is to remember that they are spirits sitting in a human body. It's a really common theme in the things that they love to share and they love to talk about. And there's a very simple method. There's a few actually, there's a few really powerful methods to support the sole purpose, if you like, being in this human incarnation, being a fulfilled human, a satisfied, happy human in this human lifetime, and remembering that we are spirit, that we will return as spirit to our home in the world of spirit. And so some methods to help you remember that you are spirit are, number one, I quite often talk about meditation, because meditation takes you into quiet uh, inner spaces where spirit can communicate with you and where you can feel yourself separate away from your talkative mind, where you, we quite often self-identify as our thoughts and as our mind. We think our thoughts are us when in actual fact they aren't. We can sit in silence observing our thoughts. And so that which is us sitting in silence observing our thoughts, the observer, is our spirit self. And so those beautiful sacred moments in meditation where the self is observing the mind and observing thoughts, our thoughts, we can begin to self-identify as that. Remember that we are that and not just our thoughts. There's a lot of power knowing that we are not our thoughts. We have power over our thoughts. We can direct our thoughts into a higher tone of thinking, a more positive tone of thinking, a more confident tone of thinking. We can direct our thoughts away from negative thought spirals. <clears throat> so there's a lot of power in knowing that you're not your thoughts and that you can direct your thoughts. But the great power in meditation is sitting in the stillness of what self really is, which is spirit. Because sitting in the stillness of that, there's a subliminal, below logic, recognition of self beyond the personality self even. And that's a beautiful thing, isn't it? There's the sense of home energy, of love energy and of home energy of spirit love energy. Interestingly, also my spirit tutors say to me that in meditation, when we do find that stillness, eventually <clears throat> in that state of meditation, that our spirit tutors and our spirit helpers find it much easier to connect with us and to offer us suggestions and thoughts of help and support. And indeed, actually, in those moments of stillness, my spirit tutors are actually telling me right now to say that your spirit helpers can heal and harmonize and balance your energy systems, your mental systems, your emotional systems. So meditation, as well as that beautiful direct connection to the joy of God energy, if you like, God's source, spirit self, 
that direct connection to the stillness of that primordial vibration. Also, our energy systems calm down, our thought waves and thought patterns and emotional patterns energetically calm down, and our spirit helpers are much more able to come into our energy systems and begin to heal and repattern gently. I call it rewiring us. So meditation, there's this direct connection with our spirit self, with the primordial vibration that sits behind all of life. And also our spirit helpers can come in <clears throat> and support us in that moment energetically. And one more powerful way, method, practice, if you like, to help us in our recognition of our spirit self, of being the fact that we are spirit in this lifetime. We're not just a walking, talking human. So one more practice. And that is practicing that when we're talking to people, sometimes just in our day, in front of our computer, as we're walking down the street, to imagine that we're stepping back into ourselves as spirit, almost as though there's an angelic being that is us standing just behind us with its arms and wings wrapped around us. And we have the ability to step back into that and be that as we're talking, as we're walking at any moment in our life. Let's do that right now. Beautiful little spiritual practice. Imagining ourselves as a beautiful, higher spirit, angelic being standing just behind us with its arms and wings wrapped around us and we've got the ability to kind of step back and up into it and become that for a moment. It's a beautiful practice isn't it? I'm giving you a chance to do that right now just as an experiment to see how it feels. So the more we do that as a practice, we become a little bit more aware that it feels different to be sitting in that inner position. We're calmer, we're more relaxed, we're clearer, we're focused, we're softer, we're more kind of in control, empowered. And what I'd like you to do is explore that. So make the inner shift and notice how you feel. And I'd like you to explore that when you're talking to someone and you'll notice that you're less disempowered towards that person. It's easier for you to speak your truth in that moment. It's a big clue there. It's quite powerful actually. And that's why my spirit tutors today for this video, I'm giving you this process, this practice. It's kind of a little switch inside of yourself to explore. So thanks for listening. Enjoy and remember that what we're doing with these processes and this exploration is beginning to re recognize, remember, recognize that we are spirit essentially as we're living our human life that we are a spirit, a soul looking out through our eyes into this life, looking at all the people around us, the people we love, listening to our thoughts. So the inner stillness of meditation and an inner reframing, repositioning of our attention of where we're sitting inside of ourselves. Two beautiful, playful, happy little experiments that you can explore in your day and bring it into your day and into your week now. Much love to you. My name's Alicia Power. Namaste.